Now, before I say anything incriminating that may or may not get more than half of the world gamer population mad at me, everything in this video comes from a place of love for PlayStation. And to prove it, here's the PS4 I've had since I was 13. There's also a PS2 downstairs, but I don't feel like carrying it. Please don't skin me alive. Hi again, soldiers. And right now, we find ourselves in the middle of a once-in-a-generation conflict. Something that has divided the people of our great nation, that nation being hypothetical and only inhabited by Skype users, down the middle for decades. The console wars. Or at least we would have been if Xbox hadn't called a ceasefire, probably because they knew they would lose. That's not true. That tweet was just good PR. Regardless, both next-gen consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, launched in the last week or so. And boy, has that week been a headache. Advil doesn't do much to help me with those these days, except give me a stiff kick to the nose. So if you guys could subscribe with notifications on, which I know you specifically aren't, coward, it would really be like an espresso shot injected straight into my brain, and I would really appreciate it. Seriously, this headache is killing me, and it's your fault for not subscribing. On the Xbox front of this last week, though, you had people thinking their consoles had turned into fire hazards because of a video going around of one smoking like an overworked McDonald's manager, and it gave everyone flashbacks to the 360's Red Ring of Death, until it turned out that video was completely faked and was made possible by some guy vaping into the asshole of his console. Xbox had a cheeky little corporate tweet, and while that probably wasn't the most fun PR experience for them, I would argue that it showed a use of the new Xbox that most people wouldn't have even thought of. Who knew blowing clouds into your new box of wires could set up some cool atmospheric vibes. It seems like a fair trade-off for permanently damaging the tech inside. Now, as big and as cool as the Xbox is, honestly, the PS5 was an entirely different beast. Like, they just do not scale. It was like if you took the biggest shit you've ever had in your life, put it in a sandwich, and then tried to sell that as a special at Subway. First things first is that nobody who wanted one could get their hands on it. Just like with the launch of the PS4, the demand for these phone book looking fuckers was just higher than Sony had planned for. They were running out of stock in minutes every time they added more, the sites that you could buy them off of didn't work half the time, and everybody on my timeline was fuming like a steam engine. Shit was really just coming out of the ears. I wonder if that was because someone was vaping too. On top of that mess though, you had the godforsaken console scalpers. The resellers pounced on these things like a pro builder does to a toddler on Fortnite. Not only were the PS5s being scooped up like ice cream by these guys, but you had to see them reselling those at twice the price anytime you searched it up. Literally anywhere you go. It was like having salt punched into a wound that's already bone deep. Honestly, I've never seen anti-reseller sentiment be as high as it is now. Even during the PS4 days, it seemed like people just kind of accepted that it's a horrid and depressing part of life. And these days, it's a little different. It's uh, more of this. People that buy PS5 just to resell it for way more deserve no happiness in life. If you bought a PS5 or a Series X just to resell for a grand, you smell like shit. Imagine buying the PS5 to resell and then the city cut your mom's lights off. Now what? I swear, I hate you resale people more than Hitler hated Jews. I ain't never seen fucking game consoles on Stock X. If you bought a PS5 to resell, I hope and pray that shit brick and you get COVID. Huh, some strong words those were, and by strong I mean bull moose ramming into your nut strength. If that tweet was like a physical object and it came flying at you, you would be turned into a paste. You would make a great McDonald's condiment, I promise. And I can't lie, it's a little bit satisfying seeing tweets from people trying to resell their PS5s and them getting completely ghosted. Just nobody replies or shows any interest in getting fucking scammed. Who need a hashtag PS5, I'm too tapped in, loudly crying face. DMs are open, don't waste my time, resell is $800. Be cash app ready with address and zip code. And then he just gets no replies, major L. I can just tell from the way this guy tweets that he's one of them overconfident entrepreneur types who I would definitely hate ever talking to, ever. Maybe he managed to resell his stuff privately, but for my own entertainment, I'm gonna suspend my disbelief here. But even people who did manage to get their slimy little hands on one of these things, though, ran into issues with their PlayStations. Hey, hey, hey. We got the fucking, uh, got a brand new baby right here, you know what I'm saying? What? That man has not been seen or heard from since. If you have any information as to his whereabouts, please call the number listed on your screen. Remember, audience, the first 48 hours are the most crucial in a missing persons case. Current theories as to what happened to Junkie Janker rival CNN's coverage of the Malaysia flight that went missing. Supposedly, the PS5 he apparently acquired wasn't a PS5 at all, but rather a game box from a separate dimension that after being turned on, went back to its home dimension, taking anything else that was in the room with it. Nicholas's life is in your 
your hands, chat. Uh, 24 Frames of Nick is one of the only other people I know who has actually managed to get his hands on this damn thing. While meanwhile, everyone else on my timeline is busy sad posting about it to try and cope. Woke up, no PS5, no girlfriend, no haircut, no good morning text, no 401k, hungry as hell, just another day in the life. Yikes, we really all are living the same life then, huh? Well, I guess that confirms it, guys. It really doesn't get better. Though, going back to Nick, maybe it was a good thing that most people weren't able to get a PS5, because I'm pretty sure his has ruined him. You see, Nick is a rare breed amongst people that I know. He's felt the touch of a woman, and he's been saying that the PS5 is even better than that shit. Playing a PS5 is so sick. My hands have evolved past the need to hold anything else except controller. Woman hand feel like shit. Controller, mmm. He's tucking it into bed with him where his girl used to sleep. He's indoctrinating other influential movie reviewers with PlayStation 5 propaganda. I think it's safe to say that Nick has been radicalized. Is that what you want for your children, parents? I think the pure desperation people have for these pieces of plastic is best shown in this one image here. I think this speaks entirely for itself, which is why I'm now going to dramatically describe the picture to you. A securely packaged DualSense controller is still on the shelf of a Walmart, with what looks like a wolf-sized bike taken out of the side of that bitch with the controller successfully stolen. We don't have enough information. I need more pictures. Are there PS5 consoles with teeth marks in them just out of the frame? Was he only there for the controller, or was it something else? So many questions, but I can't help but feel exhilarated. I love me a good gaming mystery. Like Ben Drowned, or Pokemon's Lavender Town, or what the fuck Microsoft was ever thinking with the Kinect. Here we have the same level of desperation from the last picture, but in the exact opposite direction, where this guy is actively denying himself the pleasure of the PlayStation 5 and the lush walls of that tower until he finishes up his master thesis. This dude has to be a masochist, because he hung up a fucking poster of the thing that he's not letting himself have right in front of him, in order to make himself work faster. That's gotta break labor laws or some shit, man, and if that doesn't, then it should. Fuck me, dude. Replace the text on that poster to say, work will set you free. He's essentially turned himself into the rat on the treadmill that's chasing a piece of cheese and will never really be able to reach. He's like a pig chasing a carrot on a fishing rod in Minecraft. But I am sure he'll have a great time playing Minecraft on that PS5 when the time comes. This next one is less hurts to look at and more I want to look at this, and it's a neat little detail about the PS5 controller itself. Apparently the texture of the grip on the controller is a bunch of overlaid PlayStation button shapes. Very neat. In Redditor news, some hero out there did what we all wish we had the balls or the willpower to do, and he got back at the scalp. Apparently he took their numbers on Craigslist and added them to a bunch of mailing lists and timeshare calls. It's juvenile, it's petty, I'm too old for this, it's not helping anything. Uh, correction, it was all of those things except for the last one, and also funny, and it helped me get this video longer. So don't put yourself down, man. I couldn't have done this without you. But it just makes me so mad to see these people selling PS5s for $1,200 plus dollars on Craigslist in my city. So if they're greedy enough to have a number, I'm happy to see if they want to use that money for a timeshare. Maybe I'm helping. Yes! You are helping! Seriously, this is the only real justice that anybody has gotten this year. I feel kind of bad because I'm trying really hard to be zen, peaceful, kind, good, joyful, and present. This PS5 launch, for whatever reason, was the thing that broke me. Really? The PlayStation 5 launch is what did you win? I tapped out back in, like, June. It is times like these, though, where I think it's important to acknowledge the workers out there. The people who are making it possible for any of us to get these new consoles in the first place. Especially in this year, November is the start of hustle season, and these people people are breaking their backs, literally risking their lives in a lot of cases, to get you your fancy piece of plastic before Christmas. People like this retail employee, who got posted to Reddit by his friend. I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. Can you get fired for taking that picture and posting it? I don't know how laws work, but either way, I think he should just take one. He deserves it for the good work he's doing, and so it doesn't end up in some random scalper's hands. And while abusing Reddit for more content, I found this niche sub called r slash CRT Gaming, and it's really cool. It's just a bunch of people playing games on old TVs. It also showed me one man who decided that the first thing he'd do with his state-of-the-art gaming machine is to play it on the lowest resolution screen that he could possibly find. I do have respect for the dedication, but I have no fucking clue why he is dedicated. Anyways, I think that about does it for PS5-related media, at least so far as I can manage. I hope you guys enjoyed this look into this nuclear winter of a console lunch. If you did, be sure to subscribe and notifications on, and drop a fat like on this video, please! You can follow me on twitch.tv slash quite, I stream there, which is pretty cool, and remember not to go after anybody I talked about in this video, even if they are scalpers. We have to take the high road. You can follow me on Instagram at quite.png and on Twitter at quite. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.